Hello everyone, this is KTR Gaming. This is my first video on this channel. I hope you enjoy. If you do enjoy, please go and click that subscribe and like button. It's very much appreciated. On this channel, starting out, we will be doing an NCAA Dynasty. For this Dynasty, we will be using the University of Louisiana Monroe. How this Dynasty will work is we will be doing three games every single episode. Two will be simmed and one will be played. If you have any recommendations for things that you would like to be in the series, please leave it down below in the comment section. As I stated, we'll be joining the University of Louisiana Monroe Warhawks. They have been good since 1987 for the most part, where they won the FCS championship, National Championship. Back then, it was called Division I AA. We'll be signing a contract here. We'll start out with one skill tree for every coordinator, head coach, offensive coordinator, and defensive coordinator. Starting out, we were going to, let's see, there is unlocking one locked recruit and uncovering 25% of a player's true talent. We'll start out with that, and then for the defensive coordinator, there is defensive players gain plus one block shedding for games, or defensive players gain plus one power move and finesse move for games, or plus two injury and 10% increase in stamina. I think we're going to go with uh, plus one block shedding, and then we will also be going with either plus two entry and 10% increase in stamina for the offense or plus one carrying for games. I think we're going to start out with plus one carrying in games. Save that. Okay, this is our preseason. So this first episode will just be going through the roster, getting through everything, having the preseason set up. Then next episode is when we'll first start playing games. So let's look here. So our QB situation is a freshman. Which is nice to see because we will have him for four years. We could also redshirt him and start Rhett Rodriguez instead. But based on the looks of it, Rogers seems to be pretty good. Rogers is definitely one of our best QBs on this team by a, a decent amount. Best accuracy, second best throw power, and fastest, which is always nice to have. Our running back is Isaiah Phillips seems to be pretty good with 81 speed. Our third string, Jaquiel Holmes, is actually 92 speed, which is going to be very nice to have. Carrying wise, Phillips has 71 carrying, which is also very nice to have. And 65 catching, which is the highest catching on the team for running backs. For wide receiver, we actually have an 80 overall and two 79s. One of them's a senior and two are juniors, so we will be losing them fairly soon. Just sad to see. Freshman-wise, we have one true freshman. Which is a little disappointing to see, but I think we'll get over it. Speed-wise, our fastest player is going to be Darian Willie, who's a 65 overall. But of our top three players, looks to be Boogie Knight. Catching-wise, Jared Sparks looks pretty good with 81 catch, 79 spec catch, and 79 catch in traffic. Tight end wise, we've got a senior in Jacob Mathis at an 80 overall, who seems pretty good. 72 speed with 79 catch. How's his blocking? His blocking is pretty good up in the 70s for all three categories. Offensive line wise, offensive line seems fairly decent, not good, not terrible. We do have a 78 overall true freshman, which is very nice to have. Defensive ends, we've got a 67 redshirt sophomore who looks decent based off his speed. Power move is pretty good. Our back power move is incredible. 
So we'll have to look into Anthony Campbell and Miles Cole. See who will start there. Right end wise, Ty Shelby looks incredible. 82 power movement, 82 block shedding. Brandon Nettles also looks pretty good at 80 power move. Gardner has 75 block shed, which is very nice. Speed wise, Gardner is the fastest. Defensive tackle, we've got two good ones and a decent one for the most part it looks like. Redshirt freshman here in Seth Mason, which looks pretty good to have. 67 overall uh, true freshman, which is nice. Power move, commence move, and block Jenny Wise. Black actually has really good power move, followed by Hagler. Finesse move wise, seems Thomas is the best. Block Shenny wise, it looks like Ellis. Our true freshman doesn't look terrible, looks pretty decent. And then our redshirt junior, who is our highest defensive tackle, also looks pretty good. Not terrible, not amazing though. Outside linebacker wise, We've got a redshirt senior who will be leaving after this year. Um, we've got a middle linebacker, redshirt sophomore, who seems decent based off his speed. Coverage-wise, it's pretty good. Off the edge and play wreck. Not terrible. Tackling's decent. Hit power is decent. Off the right edge, we've got a 82 true senior and a 80 overall redshirt senior in Williams and Webster who both look pretty good. One of them might end up getting moved to middle linebacker for that second middle linebacker spot. 75 and 74 speed is pretty good. We like to see that. Webster's coverage is amazing. Williams coverage is also pretty good. Power move wise, Williams is a little bit better power move, but finesse move wise, Webster seems that better. Tackling wise, Webster also is better. So we might be moving Webster over to that middle linebacker slot to have those two middle linebackers that can play for us in Johnson and Webster. Corner wise, we only have four corners, which is very disappointing, to be honest. We're going to have to fix that, definitely. Um, two seniors true freshman and a redshirt sophomore, which is not good because those two seniors will be leaving after this year. However, we do have an 80 overall corner in Adam Sparks with 80 speed, along with 86 man and 82 zone, who looks pretty good, along with Newton. Newton also looks pretty good at 85 man and 83 zone. Free safety wise, we've got an 80 overall Holly, who's a redshirt senior, who will be leaving after this year also. 86 speed, 67 man, 77 zone, which is pretty good for safety at 80 overall. Strong safety wise, we've got a lot of strong safety, so we'll be moving some of those to corner probably. Looks like we've got three main strong safeties, a senior, a redshirt junior, and a redshirt sophomore. 87 speed for Nick Roberts, 81 speed for Kilo Swinney, and 80 overall for Jabari Johnson. Coverage wise, looks like the best one is probably Nick Roberts at 78 man in 83 zone. However, Kilo Swinney is not far behind. Kicker and punter wise, our kicker has 70 kick power, 60 accuracy, and 66 overall. And our punter, at 60 accuracy at 70, 67 kick power at 64 overall. Our punter is a redshirt senior, and our correction, our kicker is a redshirt senior, and our punter is a junior. So we'll be losing a lot of players next year, which is sad to see. We'll definitely have to be doing a lot of recruiting this coming year, and it will be tough planning for next year. Okay, now let's get into this redshirt players wise. We will see who all is a freshman. So the main thing that we'll have to decide is if we want a redshirt Rogers in 
start Rodriguez this year and have Rodgers take over next year after having a year break? Hmm. Good question. We'll come back to that based off of our others. Norman being the fourth string running back. We'll redshirt him this year. Give him a year to get in. Wide receiver wise, we'll definitely redshirt Luke based off of how many receivers we have. Are there any receivers that are good in the defensive side of the ball? Doesn't seem like it. Tight end wise, we're not going to redshirt any of them. L line wise, we'll redshirt Fisher, we'll redshirt Robert, and we'll. We. We may also redshirt. I don't think we need to. So we're going to let Lewis play as a true freshman. Let him continue on. Defensive end wise, we're not going to do anything with anyone. Ledette on the defensive tackle area, we will redshirt for after. Hagler and Thomas are gone. Middle linebacker and outside linebacker, we're not going to be retreating anyone. Corners, we're going to have to sadly play Godsey because we cannot afford to redshirt him. Free safety wise, we will redshirt Odom. And then strong safety wise, we'll, we won't be redshirting him. Based on the fact that we do have Roberts at strong safety, we'll play Sweeney and Johnson over the corner area, which gives us two more corners to play, which gives us six total. So that'll be our red shirts right there. We've got the defensive tackle of the day, the wide receiver Alfred Luke, the center Elijah Fisher, the right guard Walter Robert, the half at Tony and the free safety Trey Odom. Now depth chart wise, free, feel free to leave any comments down below that you would like for depth chart wise if you want me to take off the red shirt for Rock Chandler Rogers. Speaking of that, I need to put that on. We will have Rogers red shirt this year. Put Rodriguez in, however, in the comment section below if you'd like Rogers to start. Let me know down below and I can change that next episode. Jeff, depth chart wise, that means Brett Rodriguez will be starting. Backing up him will be Jaya Wright. And then finally, Colby Sweets. Halfback wise, we've got Andrew Henry, Shaquille Holmes, and Isaiah Phillips. I'm wondering why Isaiah Phillips is not starting that there we go Isaiah Phillips will be our starter at 81 speed slower than Shaquille Holmes however better carrying than him and the best catching him on our team when it comes to our halfbacks pullback wise we will just have our backup tight end actually we'll just put in our third tree tight end just to make sure that our fullback doesn't take away from any of our tight end responsibilities Wide receiver wise, let's look at catching. Sparks does definitely seem the best, so he will be our number one. Jackson will be our number two. Our number three will be Knight, Boogie Knight. Our number four, however, will probably be Jaquan Bloomfield. His catching does seem a little bit better. And Jackson and Fred seem the exact same for the most part. At that point, it will just come down to speed. Jackson is faster than Fred, so Jackson will be starting over him. So our starting wide receiver will be Sparks, backed up by Jackson, backed up by Boogie Knight, backed up by Bloomfield, backed up by Jackson again, backed up by Fred. Tight end wise, Mathis will be starting, followed by Rasmussen. For left tackle, we will have Zach Tyler start. For left guard, we'll take that back of right tackle and put Stacy Wilkins in there. For center, we'll take it that back of left tackle and put loads there. For right guard, we'll leave Davis in there. 
For left, right tackle, we will have Lewis in there, our true freshman. For left end, we will probably put either Nettles or Gardner in there. Speed-wise, Gardner is faster. However, when it comes to power move, finesse move, and block shedding, it does seem Nettles is better in the power move area. However, finesse and block shedding, Gardner is better. Tackling-wise, Gardner is also better. So we will put Gardner in at our left end spot, backed up by Anthony Campbell. In right end, we will have Shelby, backed up by Nettles. In our defensive tackle position, we will have Hagler and Thomas. Hagler is faster by 22 speed at a 77. Power move, finesse move, and block shedding, however, it does appear that Thomas is better, along with tackling. So he will be our number one D tackle. Left outside linebacker wise, Tyler Glass will be in there. For right outside linebacker, we will have to choose between Webster and Williams. Coverage wise, Webster is better. Power move, finesse move, and block shedding. They're about even. Webster is better at tackling. So we will actually have Williams start at right outside linebacker and at middle linebacker we will have Webster start backed up by Johnson and Thomas. At corner we will have our safeties put in here too. Corner one we will have to see actually. Let's get these safeties in here. So, Holly will be starting at free safety. Strong safety, we've got Swinney and Roberts. Speed wise, Roberts is faster. However, when it comes to man and zone coverage and tackling, I would say Roberts is actually still better. So, Roberts will be our strong safety. Which means that Sweeney will move to corner. We will have Williams in here and Jabari Johnson. Now when it comes to coverage, Sparks says look the best, followed by Newton. And then Swinney is pretty good in that area too, along with Williams and Johnson. We'll probably put Johnson over Williams. Now speed-wise, I'd agree with this too. So our number one corner will be Adam Sparks, followed by Josh Newton, followed by Swinney, followed by Johnson, followed by Williams. We already discussed safeties, our kicker will be We'll actually look at kick power and kick accuracy. So Sutherland has more power and they both have the same accuracy. So Sutherland will be our kicker and he will also be our punter then. Kick return wise. We'll have to look speed wise. Looks like Knight is the fastest followed by agility. However, when it comes to carrying the ball, he also does look to be the best option. So Knight will be our Starting kick returner followed by Sparks, which will be the same as our punt returner. For onside kick, Sutherland will be doing that, and our long snapper will be Blake Lowe's. Now it's time to set up our recruiting board. We've had a good look at our lineup. We've seen who our starters are, and we've seen who we might need. I'll be back in just a second with our new draft board. Okay, so we finished up our uh, and we're back. So this is our recruiting board for now for preseason. Got a handful of wide receivers, some O-line, some defensive lines, some linebackers, and a lot of corners because we do need to get corners. 
So oddly, we ran out of points, so we weren't able to scout everyone, such as Terrence Anderson or Lance Mason. Um, and only being able to scout 25% of a player at a time really sucks, because I can't tell someone's true talent. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to upgrade fast and get that going sooner. So, like that, that is the end of this week's episode. Starting next week, we'll be in week one. Have a good rest of your day. Like and subscribe. Bye.